Welcome to ADS. My name is Fan Cai. I'm an expert solution architect in Keysight. Below are YouTube channels for related tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you a method to do pre-layout analysis based on silicon substrate. This is specifically developed for high-speed IC designs. Here is the outline. I'm going to build up a CPW transmission line models as an example. What I will show you will start from a scratch to define the substrate. Then I will help you to create geometries in ADS layout environment. Following that, you will learn how to set up variables to sweep for both of the geometry and the substrate to build a parameterized model. And finally, I will show you how to build up a schematics as well as plot results by sweeping parameters. Now, after you create your ADS workspace, you can create a substrate by clicking on File, New, then Substrate. Type in the file name and choose your preferred stake-up template. Create a substrate. In the new pump-up window, you will be able to find the image of your stake-up. You can right-click your mouse to insert one layer or delete one layer. For each layer, you will be uh, required to assign a material as well as a thickness. If you cannot find your material in the list, you can click here and you can add one layer, one, one material. So you can um, add it the name, my, my material, and uh, type in the property of the new material. All right, um, so ADS offers you such a capability for conductors, dielectrics, and semiconductors. It also allows you to apply a surface roughness model to your uh, stake up. Click OK and close this window. Then you will be able to see a new substrate uh, name listed under your workspace. Now we are ready to plot the geometries. Click the icon to generate a new layout cell where you can build your structures either by adding a library component or manually join your structure or you can build your structure by using commands. In addition, ADS also allows you to import your layout file from a third party. Here is a list of the files that are compatible with ADS. After that, the next step is you need to assign uh, pins. So the pins will be added to form the ports that I will show you later on in your EM setup. Here I'm going to show you an existing layout. This is a pair of differential CPW line. To run the EM analysis, what you need to do is to click EM simulation settings to create a new setup view. Well, first of all, you need to point it to your preferred stake up. If you have a couple of different substrate files, then they all of them will be listed here. And for the ports, you need to assign your ports one by one. So it's very simple. You can uh, simply drag the pins to your uh, certain ports, either to the positive or to the negative side. All right. OK, let me do this. If you don't assign your ground, then the simulator will find a ground for you uh, automatically. Close this, and let's go back to the EM settings. Uh, for the frequency plan, what you need to do is uh, you can set up a frequency, a range, or, and you can set up the step, okay? So if you choose linear, and then you can choose uh, the step. For the out plan, you can set up the data set's name. Uh, and for the options, I would like to give you one trick. You can click Mesh and turn on the edge mesh. This will increase your simulation uh, accuracy uh, a lot.
Okay, for the sales of lens, I would like to choose uh, 30 and uh, turn off mesh reduction to enhance the accuracy. And here, I would like to type in 5. Then, with all of these steps, you can simply click on the simulator icon at the bottom right. So now, watch the progress in the log file. The simulation should be quite fast. With following steps, I'm going to show you how to set up this layout with variables. First, you need to click EM, Component, and Parameters. Here, I would like to type in L1, which represents the length of your transmission line. For the type, I choose a nominal and a protubit. The nominal value is the current value that's 500 micron, and the protubit value is my expected value after a sweep. Click Add, then there will be a small window pumps up. The delta x is 500 micron, and delta y is 0. So the next step is that I need to choose the age that I would like to extend it. Um, here, I choose the right side as well as the pause. Then I click Apply. You will be able to see the transmission line has been extended. Then you can click OK. Then geometry has been returned back. Now click OK. Uh, you already have a model with a variable. After you simulate this layout with a new variable, you will be able to uh, create a new component. Click component to create a new EM component as well as a symbol. Click OK. Then let's go back to the main menu. So uh, you will be able to find the symbol under this cell. Double click the symbol. You can find the uh, uh, lookalike symbol. You can add it. Uh, for example, change the scale of it, right? or you can change the type of it. Let me go back to the original setup. All right, and save it, close it. Then I will give you an example. So in this schematic, I would like to simulate the S parameters. Uh, just simply drag the symbol here. Okay, and connect it to it. So in order to uh, sweep the lens, I would like to assign a new parameter. And the sweep variable will be L2. Simulation instance name is SP1 from the controller. And I would like the the parameters start from 500 to 900 with a step of 200. All right, let me simulate that. And quickly, you will be able to find the, the results uh, as parameters versus uh, the length of the transmission line. On the other hand, to assign a new variable in your stakeup, it is even easier. Double click substrate and choose the layer you want to assign a variable. Here for the thickness, I only need to type in the variable's name. Then uh, you can assign the value for this variable. Click OK. Then you have down. OK, now let's go back to the main menu. Well, you can find there's a new cell with the name of the force. If you double click that, you can find a variable h equals 1 has been defined inside. Now let's go back to this schematic for S parameter simulation. Rather than defining a, a variable in this new cell, you don't need to do anything. You just need to set up your parameter sweep. Uh, so now we set up the uh, variable we want to sweep is h. And we define the start value, stop value, and step value. Then we can go ahead. OK, so these are results. You can find that 
these the S parameters versus different values of H, 1, 3, 5. We've gone through all steps to implement the pre-layout simulations. Thanks for watching.